it's all about how quick you, it's all about being as fast like life's very fast now it's about getting stuff as fast as you can as conveniently as, as you can it's, a, it's it's all down to convenience really and whereas some Got a Digi Mondays. <laughs> free take, eh? Free take. <laughs> One pound drinks, free entry. Lovely kebab. Alright, <laughs> right, where's Susan? Uh, we've played gigs so all over Newcastle for the past, let's say, two years. We've played Hit the North, we've played with a number of big, quite big acts now. And, uh, and we're yeah. playing Hit the North playing on, Hit the on North. the 6th of May. If anyone wants to come. All the gigs are done through online promotion, online sharing about Instagram, Twitter. Facebook events, isn't it? Yeah, it's Facebook events. Tag all your mates People in going on Facebook and stuff. We've got, we've got Facebook, we've got Instagram. Have we got, have we got Twitter? No, I don't think no, we do. No, we don't need Twitter. Yeah. No, Instagram and Facebook are the best ways to actually like communicate with the people outside. Especially uh, Instagram, I'd say. I'd say Instagram's the top one. I'd say the most people engage like with uh, with posts on Instagram, Facebook's kind of become a bit of a lost cause with like young people. I don't really use it that much anymore. Yeah. There's, 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 there's loads of, of geek promoters I've even. I've never even met beyond beyond seeing them as a profile picture. Uh, to to me, they're just they're <laughs> just a way for me for me to get out of the masses. You know it's like what I mean? Computer friend. Isn't yeah, it? <laughs> it's that. Like, it's like little computer mates. Like obviously you've got Facebook Messenger and Facebook events and. Just the whole thing about inviting people, like you can get you and all your mates who possibly have like 2,000 friends on Facebook, possibly more like 5,000 friends on Facebook, and then just instantly just share it with them. <laughs> what we try and do is put a post up before every gig, keep people informed of when our gigs are, because if, if you dry out then no one's going to take interest, people are going to be like, where? What? What's it? Where? Where, 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 where have you been, man? Where have you been? Mm -hmm. like, like oh, right. someone said to me like the other day, like, oh, I didn't even know what you were about. I was like, you've not know, been checking the Facebook, <laughs> the Instagram, the Instagram stories, because we do put them up. They are there, so get them followed, do you know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. I'd say it's opened, opened the market. It's, it's a lot, there's a lot more competition nowadays yeah, because yeah. It's, it's a lot more accessible. Previously where people possibly couldn't have funded it and had to rely on record labels to put their music out. People have put, a lot more people have put their music out independently. It's all about appealing to your demographic and stuff and really like honing in your fan base, which like I suppose people were more willing to do before the digital age were willing to go to gigs. Now you've kind of got to make them come to you in a way because there's so much going on, so many other bands. So. I don't know, which is a good it's a thing. great but a bad thing at the yeah. same time. So it's a, it's a bit, bit of a contradiction because you like listening to new music, but then you're trying to make it as an artist, and there's just so much competition. It's because like every day, there's there's like new bands coming every day, so it's like there's there's like loads of new sounds and that coming out, and it's just yeah. like it's like what? And we gotta try and compete with yeah. all these other cool things. <laughs> Whereas back in the day. You'd have a record to sell, everyone would buy your record. You'd make, what, 10 quid off every record. Now people just stream the album, have it on Spotify or whatever. You get a tiny fraction of what you, you used to do. So I don't think there's many bands that just release the music physically, unless they're like old timers, but also people do still buy physical, like especially vinyl. A lot of people still buy vinyl and stuff. Um, so like, yeah. Um, oh, it's all about how quick you. It's all about being as fast. Like life's very fast now. It's about getting stuff as fast as you can, as conveniently as, it, as you can. It's, it's it's all down to convenience really. And whereas some people would do like having it physically, and are like purists in the sense that they are willing to spend more money in having a physical copy so they can keep it and cherish it. Like a lot of people aren't that bothered anymore. And most of the promotions done digitally. It's not like back in the day where you'd have a, a promote like a promotion single for your album. They release a single from it first, and then you'd have your album out. It's like 
you'll have like a music video out and then your album comes out. Yeah, because also like the whole thing with like sponsored sponsored ads, like you can put however much, I think I was looking today at something like a tenner and you can get 3.9 to 10.5 thousand people viewing your post. So let's say that's about a gig. Like you can't force however many people to look at your poster on the wall back before the digital age. But like now you can subliminally show these people your, your post. There's become a lot more variation in like your option of tone and like the amount of access to different sounds you had. Like previously, like let's say a tape delay would have like, yeah, it was a big box, which like, yeah, it was hard to use. It was, it was inconvenient where now we've got these like digital pedals, which have like, let's say 30 different effects on for the price of let's say four pedals. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, and you can you can just get all this stuff which enhances your sound like completely. And also that in turn helps with recording because then if you've got access to all these different sounds you know what sort of sounds you want. And without that I think it would be hard to actually pick and choose what sort of sound you you wanted because you'd have to spend so much money on these different things and maybe there was one you didn't like and yeah. It's it's just a digital world for you. I suppose.